Hello and welcome guys, this is iPlay4K and in this video I would like to show you great auto sport in 8K resolution with 3-way Titan X and SLI. So I'm going to use today 3 video cards which is Titan X and SLI. Let me go ahead and show you my options real quick but keep in mind that we're going to run today the static benchmark that built in into the game. I'm going to record with external camera in 4K resolution and we're going to run two benchmarks. One we're going to run without the anti-aliasing, 8K maximum visuals and second benchmark we're going to run with the maximum anti-aliasing with 8K resolution and maximum visuals. Let me go ahead and demonstrate you my settings. Preset will be ultra. As you can see we got the San Francisco, it's going to be the track for our benchmark and this is the built-in benchmark. Keep in mind that it's not full aesthetic benchmark, so the position of the car will be different every benchmark, but you can plus 3 minus 3 FPS from our every score, but I'm recording today with external camera in 4K resolution, so you got the FPS what you're supposed to have. There is no external factors that reflect in my FPS uh, statistics. And FPS statistics and all the video cards, GPU 1, GPU 2, GPU 3, VRAM 1, VRAM 2, VRAM 3 will be at the top right corner as you can see. I also threw in the CPU for you, it's 20% load right now. Also the RAM, it's a system RAM, total I got is 64 gigs. As you can see I'm using right now 26 gigs which is 26,000 megabytes, it's 26 gigs. Why so, so much RAM? Because I'm using 20 gigs of uh, RAM disk. And uh, I'm going to record some gameplay without the external camera on the computer with the software, but not this gameplay. And, uh, or maybe this gameplay, but not the benchmark. Benchmark, I prefer to record with external camera so you can see the perfect statistics. And uh, I'm going to re record on that RAM disk, guys. It's very expensive. 20 gigs, it's faster than SSD, about 5-7 times faster than fastest SSD. 40 frames per second, not bad, and it's going to speed up. As you can see, SLI scalability is perfect, 98-97%. And uh, look like at this scalability and at this load on the GPU, my temperature will grow to the 90 Celsius. Maybe not in this benchmark because it's going to be a very short benchmark, usually it does after about 10-15 minutes and when it's reaching 90 celsius my titan start throttling down and uh, it's a super clock addition which is 100 megahertz faster than a regular titan x so pretty much what it does it's just lowering the clocks to the regular titan x but it doesn't go below that so if you're not going to have them on water if you're going to have three or four way sli on air they're going to throttle itself down to the regular titan x if it's super clock addition and if it's regular Titan X, I think it's going to throttle itself down to the little bit slower. And I advise you to have it on the uh, water cooling. Closed loop, any kind of loop, custom water cooling, whatever you want it, like get a water cooling, but I advise you to have it. And I'm going to do the whole tutorial, guys. Keep watching. Um, I'm going to do something nice about the Titan X, how to improve their performance dramatically, drastically. It's going to be as fast as 1080. Keep watching, keep watching. I, I don't want to spoil too much. Okay, we're done here. Okay, as again, it was great. Other sport, and keep in mind that I have grade two as well. Uh, also, three way, two way, and four way in grade two. And this one, great auto sport, I'm going to do the three way AK 4K. Two different videos than two way AK 4K. And that four ways Titan X 
8K, 4K, so you can compare scalability, performance, everything. This is for those who's curious. So the purpose of this benchmark to find out how well the Maxwell GPU architecture scaling an SLI and how well it's performed at 8K resolution. So you can compare this data as good as gold in the bank and compare it with the next generation of GPUs or to your uh, GPU or your system. So average FPS 49 frames per second, minimum FPS 38 frames per second, maximum FPS 70 frames per second. So average is 49, almost 50. Very nice result. Let me go ahead and click uh, the maximum anti-aliasing. As again, it's going to be AK, 8192 pixels by 4320 with the ultra preset with the maximum MSA anti-aliasing. As you can see folks we're loading the same level, same track which will be San Francisco and pretty much same benchmark, it's just a built-in benchmark and I really like the static benchmarks and it's going to be part of my benchmark utility package when I'm going to test any reviews, doing any reviews I'm going to use this benchmark keep in mind when I'm not recording on the camera I'm doing three times each benchmark and then I'm taking the average and reporting you the average score for the best um, data uh, information so right now uh, we're using the maximum MSAA anti-aliasing and let's have a look keep in mind the game is performed very smoothly at this resolution and uh, it's unbelievable how smooth it is there's no tearing on the screen as you can see it's just beautiful Look at my VRAM usage, 74, 83 megabytes, 84, 74, 84 megabytes, so 7.5 gigs already using on the VRAM per video card. It means, like I said, it's going to be around 8 gigabytes, so it's 7.5 gigabytes, so double with the MSA uh, anti-aliasing maxed out than without it. So keep that in mind uh, that 6 gigs will not be enough at the 8K resolution to run it smoothly without any slowdowns and any skipping and stuff like that keep in mind the position in this benchmark of the car will be different so it's a still static benchmark but the position will be different it's not like recorded demo completely it's like pre-programmed demo uh, but it's not recorded completely with the position of the cars is going to be the same it's not the same so as again plus three minus three fps up and down so keep that in mind and as again this video cards is a three titan x super clock edition and sli and they're stock but as again as you can see they pretty much 1240 megahertz but then they're going to clock itself to 1168 megahertz one is going to over 90 celsius and i didn't see that those titans under high pressure 90 celsius went down after three hours of gameplay below 1150 megahertz ever they're synchronized of course so gpu and uh, frequency 1240 megahertz synchronized on each gpu as you can see and memory frequency which is 7011 megahertz synchronized as well as again stock from the manufacturer but super clock edition 100 megahertz faster than the regular Titan X of course all right let's have a look what kind of result we got and um, we're gonna get moving I'm going to upload this video and then I'm going to also upload the 4k video for, for those who's curious then two-way Titan X SLI and four-way Titan X SLI so we got average 44 frames per second wow nice score just 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 about what five frames per second wow titan x i'm telling you guys the maxwell gpu architecture doing pretty well 
when you're enabling the anti-aliasing. It's about 15% down, just only 15% down in all games. That's unbelievable. So average FPS 44 frames per second, minimum FPS 34 frames per second, maximum FPS 59 frames per second. All right, 44. Here we go. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and uh, subscribe so you're not gonna miss any great videos. It's going to be a lot of reviews, a lot of great videos about the technology, gaming, gameplays, walkthroughs. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. 2016 keep watching guys i play 4k what with you today i wish you good luck and i will see you till the next videos peace